Good morning. We are now well into our 21 days of well-being, and this week in week two, we're looking at how to connect with other people. I wanted to take a moment to share with you how we are doing that with the youth. Currently, we have a younger youth Zoom, which meets on a Tuesday evening with Hannah Lovell, and an older youth Zoom that I lead on a Thursday evening. We've also got some exciting initiatives coming up that I wanted to share with you. The first is that some of our older youth are looking into and creating a Minecraft project, which we'll be hoping to roll out in the next few weeks. We also have the relaunch of the worship band to come as soon as uh, restrictions allow and we can look to engage our young people in that again. We have some fantastic musicians, we miss them, um, and we're looking forward to seeing them back on board with our worship really soon. Also later in the year, I'm hoping to run the Kintsugi Youth Hope Wellbeing course. It looks at all sorts of factors, including things like anxiety and different issues that our young people grapple with today. So look out for more news of that later in the year. I also think it's important to take a moment to think about our parents and the families that have young people in their households. I know it's a really challenging time and I think young people in our homes can be difficult to connect with at times anyway. Um, but during this pandemic, it's probably even harder as they're uh, shut up in their rooms, they're studying, they're on screens an awful lot of the day, not necessarily at their most communicative after a day of online study. So I just want to encourage you to just keep trying, take a walk, go for a drive with them, have a movie night with them, try to be interested in their gaming, even if it's not your thing, it's not mine. <laughs> um, but just spending time with them, baking, crafting, um, there are all sorts of ways that you can uh, try to engage with the young people in your household um, and obviously ask them what, what might be of interest and above all, keep praying for them. Cover them this um, in this season in your prayers. We believe as a church that our young people are unique and gifted and wonderful and we love them um, and we want to help you to love them well too. If you are passionate about youth, whether you're a parent or not, and you'd like to be more involved, there are lots of elements to the youth programme that we're going to be delivering this year, whether that's through digital engagement, uh, through the worship, through mentoring, through small groups. If you would love to be part of the team, we would love to have you. So please do drop me an email, reply to this video, and uh, we can get in touch with you and see how we take that forward. Let's pray then for our young people. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the young people you have entrusted to us, for their humour, their energy, their challenge and their passion. Would you help us to better connect with those within our own church families and those of the wider church, that they would know how loved they are by us and by you. Amen. Have a great week.